This time, we'll uncover the fascinating story of how Asian kings, from the past to the present, played a crucial role in spreading the teachings of Buddhism. From wars that transformed their lives to profound spiritual journeys, we'll see how these rulers turned their thrones into instruments of enlightenment. Let's dive into their journey from war to peace in this episode. Although Buddha himself did not use state power to spread his teachings, history records many rulers who played significant roles in supporting the development of Buddhism. Buddha taught his doctrine in a simple and non-coercive manner, but its impact was far-reaching. Kings and rulers often saw value in Buddhist teachings, both in moral and social aspects, and sought to support its dissemination through various means. For example, many councils held by the Sangha and the writing of sacred texts received full support from the kings of their time. Rulers often provided the resources and protection needed to conduct councils and produce sacred manuscripts. This demonstrates that although Buddha himself did not wield state power, rulers were inspired by his teachings and contributed to ensuring that these teachings could flourish and be passed on to future generations. One of the most famous is King Ashoka, the third ruler of the Maurya dynasty. Initially, Ashoka was fond of war to expand his realm. But after realizing the many casualties and injuries caused by his wars, he felt remorse and ceased his military campaigns. Ashoka then became a Buddhist and sought to practice the teachings of compassion. He even became a vegetarian, established hospitals, including for animals, built monasteries, roads, and wells for the public. Not only that, he also enacted regulations that eased the lives of his people and respected all religions. Ashoka's transformation was not limited to his social and spiritual actions. He also adopted more humane governance policies, including the abolition of the death penalty and protection of women's and children's rights. By spreading Buddhist teachings through edicts and missions to neighboring countries, Ashoka succeeded in changing the global view of governance and power. Ashoka's application of Buddhist teachings played a significant role in shaping ancient India. His emphasis on morality and spiritual development not only brought peace within his realm, but also created a legacy that inspired many future rulers. Through his actions, Ashoka demonstrated that true power lies in the ability to bring welfare and happiness to his people. Ashoka became a key figure in spreading Buddhism beyond India. He sent missions to various countries to introduce Buddhist teachings. His son, Pikku Mahinda, successfully introduced Buddhism to Sri Lanka, and King Devanampiya Tisa embraced Buddhism. In Thailand, missions led by Bhikkhu Sona and Uttara succeeded in developing Buddhism. Thailand also had good relations with China, where Emperor Mingti helped strengthen Buddhism's influence. Many Thai kings declared themselves followers of Buddhist teachings, and some even became monks for a period. Ashoka's dissemination of Buddhist teachings not only created religious change, but also supported rich cultural exchanges. Through trade routes and mission journeys, Buddhism spread to various regions in Asia, influencing local art, architecture, and philosophy. For example, Buddhist influence is evident in Southeast Asian art and architecture, including the grand temples built as places of worship. Through his efforts, Ashoka not only spread Buddhist teachings, but also disseminated universal values, such as tolerance, peace, and compassion that remain relevant today. The influence of kings in Japan. Buddhism entered through royal delegations from Korea. The religion was introduced to the Japanese court and later became the state religion thanks to Emperor Shotoku, 574 to 621. Emperor Shotoku, known as an early protector of Buddhism in Japan, introduced a government system based on Buddhist principles and established several important temples, such as Shitenoji in Osaka. 
his efforts in supporting Buddhism not only strengthened the religion's position in Japan, but also helped spread Buddhist teachings to the general public. In Tibet, King Sron Batsan Skampo embraced Buddhism after marrying two princesses from Nepal and China who were already Buddhists. These marriages brought significant Buddhist influence to Tibet, which subsequently sparked the spread of Buddhism in the region. King Saron Batsan Skampo is known as a great protector of Buddhism and played a key role in establishing temples and supporting the development of Buddhist teachings in Tibet. The reforms he implemented further strengthened Buddhism in Tibet and laid the foundation for the spread of the teachings in Central Asia. In Thailand, several kings, such as King Lithai and King Mongkut, even lived in monasteries as monks. King Mongkut, in particular, had a significant impact by founding the Dharma Yutaka sect after being a member of the Sangha for 27 years. His dedication to Buddhist teachings and the reforms he made within the Sangha contributed to the more structured and organized development of Buddhism in Thailand. His experience as a monk and spiritual leader highlights the deep influence of Buddhism on rulers in the region. Despite this, the development of Buddhism has not always been smooth. When rulers embraced other religions, or when the Sangha itself deviated from the teachings, Buddhism often faced setbacks. For instance, during periods of government hostility or even suppression of Buddhist teachings, such as in India during Muslim rule and in Tibet during periods of repression, the religion faced significant challenges. However, despite suppression from other rulers, such as in India or Tibet, the religion has managed to survive thanks to the support of teachers and monks. Buddhist monks and teachers often struggle to preserve and pass on their teachings even in difficult conditions. During the colonial period, Buddhist countries relied more on their people to revive their religion while forming national identities in their struggle for independence. The crucial role of teachers, monks, and Buddhist communities in preserving Buddhist teachings is not only seen in daily religious practices, but also in their efforts to adapt Buddhist teachings to the challenges of the times. Around the world, they continue to teach and practice Buddhism, ensuring that even though the religion faces tough times, its essence remains alive and relevant for future generations.